and play Astrobot again, chat. It got a little shaft robotted, but not as much as I thought it would be. What happens if you accidentally delete your save data because someone was pressing triangle on your controller? That would, I think that would suck. Personally, I think that would suck. Bathhouse battle. Free big brother. Well, we're gonna do these all eventually, but... My little skeleton alien fella just fell on me. It's weird. How'd that happen? It must be haunted. I need one of those devices. Like I said yesterday, I was watching the Red Letter Media video where they bought ghost equipment. Because they're gonna, like, do a... <laughs> they're gonna hunt for ghosts. And they bought a bullshit box for, like, $600, which basically says words. It's just like, I want pizza, pizza, I want pizza. Because it somehow detects the electromagnetic pulses from the environment and translates them into words. What is this? Is this merchandise? What do you what do you do? That's pretty fun. I gotta say, pretty much every one of Astrobot's transformations have been great. I like this little fella. He's he's all right. He's all right in my book. He's not little anymore, look at that. Damn. But yeah, chat, I'm... I'm still... It's weird because even though I said I'm... I'm not considering buying that device. What's it called? The, the Kapitavi device or something? There's some... There's some weird name for this device that they bought. Where it just generates, like, images and uh, words based on atmospheric disturbances, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. The Ovulus device. It's, it's weird because, again, I know how goddamn expensive it is. I know it is just pure bullshit. But there is also a part of me that thought it would be a great stream bit where I could just talk to ghosts during the stream. It would. I, I know, I know, but... <sighs> Wasn't there like a sci-fi movie or premise where you could put one of those devices on like your dog and they would talk to you? They'd be like, That's the biggest shit, father. Clean is better than dirty. Dirty is meaner than clean. It was an up. Okay.
Do you really think the people who sell those devices deserve your money, though? No. Which is why... You could probably just get a random word generator. And that would probably also be a good stream bit. Pretending to talk to ghosts. Well, I want to see how Red Letter Media's video goes. Like, when they go to this haunted place and use the device and, and just see what happens, because it... It seems ridiculous. Also, they have... They, they make more money. I mean, they, they have... They have the big bucks over at RLM. Maybe not like mega bucks. I don't I don't really see those guys doing sponsorships and shit, but I think they, they do Patreon. Their videos do very well. Even though I'm I'm assuming it's copyright hell to do a channel like theirs. Their Patreon money is huge. If you don't mind me asking, and you know I'm not really the biggest fan of talking about people's money, but since it is public, oh yeah, and merch. I'm just curious, how how much is that Patreon making for RLM a month? If anyone knows, like, a general roundabout answer. Like, 70k a month? Before they turned it off. Oh, oh, you can turn that off. Okay. This is a case where I say good for them, because I get so much enjoyment out of all their videos. And I genuinely am happy that Mike gets to buy dumb Star Trek props and throw them around like they're ragdolls. There we go. So yeah, they, they might be doing a little bit better than me. <laughs> so they can buy their $600, like, bullshit device. <laughs> this fucking thing is so stupid looking. <laughs> like, just, how does it get it? And, like, the science behind it is very nebulous. I looked it up, and I'm trying to figure out, maybe I missed an article, or... Maybe, maybe I missed some vital information, chat, but it it's like... They don't even give you information on how it works. It just takes a number of variables from your environment and translates it into speech. Yeah, okay. Also, chat, I, sh I shit you not. If you buy from their webpage and you get multiple ghost hunting devices, I'm not even kidding, you, get, you earn ghost bucks. Like you would a free sandwich. What can ghost bucks get you? A ghost job. A Dan Aykroyd ghost job. Someone just said sigh. You knew it was coming. <laughs> That's the funny thing about ghost jobs. You always know. <laughs> Oh, those can disappear. That's unfortunate. I I'll get it, chat. Let me just go over here first. Pumst? Creepy sight jacker loses control at the sound of the siren.
Siren on PS2. I've never even heard of that. So yeah, that's another one of those things. A lot of deep cuts in this game. And not so deep cuts as well. There's some that are just like cuts that we haven't seen in 20 years. I really like this game mechanic. This is fun. Is this Jacker? Pure hearted puppet prone to losing their head. Jorker's Maze. The Jorker's Trick and Maze. I was looking for, um, the last puzzle piece. Water slide. Best restart for that one. Oh. Proud of you, Astrobot. You did it. Gotta get the secret exit. There's a, oh, there's a secret exit here. Oh. Apparently there is a secret exit. Yeah, I see it, I see it, alright. Um... I don't know if it's worth going back right this second for it. There's also one here, too. The umbrella is adorable. Did you ever see that movie, The Iron Jelko- uh, The Iron Giant? This reminds- This reminds me a lot of that. I can feel the rain on the controller with the um, HD rumble, or whatever we're calling it these days, whatever Sony's version of it is. Good. 
Very nice. Haptic feedback, yeah. Honest to goodness, now I'm gaming. It's an alien doing with a guitar. Excuse me, what does God need with the starship? Genius Kirk. When William Shatner writes his own character, he becomes like a messianic figure. That's not true. I mean, that's just purely not true, but it is funny seeing seeing what he, he does with the character in his own film that he directed and wrote. Well, co-wrote. Then again, Shatner has written a lot of his own stuff, so I wonder. I, don't, I haven't read his books. I could think of a lot of other books I'd want to read before I read a William Shatner book. No offense, William Shatner, you're a great actor and all that. He's a scrot. Yeah. Yep. He also may not run his own social media account. but it looks like no one can ever get a straight answer on that one. Celebrities who run their own social media accounts are idiots. It's a good thing I'm not a celebrity. Damn. Beast Tamer will grow up to have an incredible story to tell. Is that, um, Last Guardian? You're a micro-celebrity, which is worse. I call myself a Z-lister. It's just enough to get recognized once in a while while I'm at, like, a depression meal Taco Bell. But not enough to get me a free meal at Taco Bell. Or an actual, like, decent seat at a restaurant or something. So, yeah, the utility of the Z-Lister is not, is not really very high. However, I mean, you know, once in a while, once in a while someone is, is like, cool. And, um, they want to, like, do something nice for me. So, I mean, I can't really complain too much. If you get into that alien movie with Greg, you might make it up to the Y-List. I want to be a Y-Lister. As in, like, why is this guy famous? What has he done? That's most of us.
wandering trespasser has a colossal task ahead. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus. And, like, perfect, by the way, to have him climbing up on a giant. This is, like, really good. bird, you saved my life. Isn't it nice when a game works with you instead of against you? No? Oh. Even difficult games can work with you. missing. Yeah. This isn't a 100% playthrough. Uh, I don't know where the bot is. Oh, it's it's like an official bot, too. It's back on the island? I probably have to come back here to get the secret exit anyway. Fuck, he just ripped that guy's skull in half. Skull come off. I got this. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I still didn't get the bonus galaxy though. Vinny with the old man reaction. Sorry, I was I was looking at um I was looking at the chat for a second there. Super uh, secret exit is easy on this level. You know what's funny? I've had old man reactions since I was in my twenties. I don't know if that's funny or sad. I was good at a video game one time, and then never again. So is it back on the island here? Game were you good at? F Zero GX. And Sniper in Team Fortress Classic. Those skills are gone. You know, I'm okay at Mega Man games. I, I have a couple genres. 
that I can do decently at if I really, like, turn my streamer brain off and, you know, pay full attention. But I don't play enough of any one genre or any one game to get, like, really fucking good at it. Someone said, I bet this guy kills at his childhood game, Pong. Man, when I was a kid, Pong was the shit. Ball goes one way, you hit it, it goes the other way. What more do you need? Every game is just Pong. We just like to pretend it isn't. You sound like you're tired today, Vin. Um... Moderate. You sound sick. Okay, chap. Let's... let's not... Let's not make assumptions, because you know what happens. Your asshole prolapses. That's the expression. Eco. Or, oh no, that was, um, also Shadow Colossus, right? Okay, so that was that, but where's the, the secret exit? Start of the level across the water? Thank you. Um, tired a little bit, sick? No, I feel pretty, pretty normal. But I did, you know, again, there are times where I come home from, you know, I go, I do my day-to-day, -day, and then I end up, um, working on music at the studio for a little while, or practicing or something. And then I stream. So, yeah, sometimes. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for another hour and a half or so. Hour and twenty, whatever. I beansed it. I get it now. Are you playing Guitar Hero? I did it! And I did it the first try without any help. Ghost Galaxy. Oh, this is cool. This is where Skeetlejuice wishes he could live. Who, who the fuck needs a PS5 Pro? When we've got mud physics that are this good.
crazy. Where would we be without mud physics? But I want better mud physics. Oh. Got 800 bucks sitting around? After tax. Vinny, why do you always die to this enemy? Um. Bad game? I haven't played um, Dreams in a while, chat. Which, I don't know if it's like... There's probably a couple games that... Um, I don't know if people are still making stuff for it. But there's probably some stuff that I've missed. I know there was like a Castlevania one that was apparently really good. There's like a Mario Galaxy one that's basically a full Mario game. I'd be down to check out Dreams again. I want to see, um, for October, maybe Halloween Dreams. That is now a good memory I have, is playing Dreams on, um, on Spooktober. Spooky Nights. Because they have, like, a, a thing. Do they, are they still doing that? Where people, like, collaborate on Halloween dreams? No? If only they ported it to PC. We get some more source and gold source content for Spooktober. I, I have some Gary's mod stuff that could be fun, but I'm whoa. If anyone has any good Half-Life stuff for uh, Halloween for Spooktober, please please drop a line. Vinesauce.email. Fill out the contact form. Oh, there's Ghoul and Goblin Man. <laughs> Fragile Knight. Relieved that they remember to put on underwear. You need a catchphrase every time you die. Something really cheesy like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough catchphrases. <laughs> I need more catchphrases like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Copyright SpaghettiOs. My yell aw oh, my pengus. I like how people who are not sub to this channel are giving me advice about catchphrases. I only say catchphrases of vine sauce emerald or higher. How about crunch patties? Someone's gonna, like, tell me some combination of words that's forbidden. 
and I'm going to get in trouble for saying it, even though it sounds harmless in English. Someone in Brazil is going to be like, this guy just said the worst possible thing. Did you hear what he said? Crunch patties. Oh no, he said crunch patties. But yeah, I, I have a lot of catchphrases. I don't think I need like a death catchphrase. I don't even have like an intro catchphrase though. That's so that's a good point. Maybe chat members onto something. Maybe I could be like ultra ultra famous. Like I can move up from the Z list to like the X files, the X the X list or something. I don't know. Eternal Knight, make no bones about it. They're a true hero. It's medieval, right? But you'll notice, like, a lot of really, really popular streamers or YouTubers, specifically YouTubers, have an intro phrase. Like, like that one. I mean, hey, it works for Sean. I've met Sean twice. He's, he seems like a nice lad. He, he has no idea who I am, guaranteed, but he was very nice when I met him. His name is Jack Stupid. Well, he's Jack Skeptical Eye. And if I'm a part of the X-Files, then we can't get along. Maybe I need to do- oh, maybe I rename myself to, like, Vine Skeptic Tank, or something, or Skeptic Ear, or, or, like, Vine Necrotic Flesh, and then say, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, and then- oh, shit! That was neat. You would get at least one more viewer. Did you ever hear about Tom Petty's first band called Mud Crutch? I think it was his first band, or just a band. And I'm wondering if it was named Mud Crutch at, at some point. And they were like, we can't call the band that. It was a side project. Okay, so it wasn't his first band. See, I'm still learning. Vinny, go to bed. All right, never mind. Actually, yeah, I'm being trolled by a light bulb. I was trying to get crazy with the cheese whiz, but I couldn't. Luigi would be very proud.
weirdly, you know what's really helping for this? The haptic feedback. It feels like it's cranking. I don't know if it's actually having any effect other than psychological, but it, it made that whole segment feel a lot better. Pyramid Head. Shit. Cranking it up, Impractical Butcher. Heavy is the head that wears the pyramid. That's- I like that. Wasn't Pyramid Head in something... Like, because Pyramid Head became kind of a mascot for Silent Hill. So didn't he show up in something that was not related to Silent Hill 2? Was it the movie? Bomberman, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight. He just shows up everywhere, my god. No, but I mean, even Silent Hill, like Konami themselves have, have like, kind of misused Pyramid Head. He's not in Fortnite. Oh. The first Silent Hill movie, right, I did see that. Silent Hill Homecoming for no reason. I, there's a reason. It's not a good one, but there's a reason. I finally get costumes. I guess Carlton doesn't own that dance. Oh, it's the closest we'll get to a new Bloodborne, so... Three moves is not a choreography. I wonder, can you sue? For inventing a dance? Is that a thing that can happen, like, if you do just a couple moves? They tried and failed. Because, yeah, that's, that's a wacky concept, isn't it? I'll come back to that other level to grab the galaxy. This looks like a cool level. Chicken. Chicken, why can you do this? It's a cock rocket. Chat, are those the... sands of time? Oh god, they're bad. Bad. Bad purple sand. Bad. Not sensory bappy sand, but bad purple sand.
gonna do some turn turning on a screw, right? Oh, oh. There was another secret in there. There isn't. God damn it. Remember when um, there was a YouTube channel that tried to copyright the word react or like reaction in, in general? What was that? It's like the react, the fine bros. Are, are they still around? Because that shit was like fucking crazy. They still make slop. A lot of slop. I have a conspiracy theory that the economy and inflation and all that is directly related to how much people, the powers that be, chat, the powers that be, want more slop. Because if things were too good, we wouldn't get nearly as much slop. And someone up there at the top wants the slop. I don't know who it is. I think it's probably like, um... It's probably like Ronald Reagan's reanimated corpse. Pretty sure he's in charge of everything. But yeah, they just want YouTube an algorithmic slop. Because, I mean, if things were good, people wouldn't have to make that shit. You can have a little bit of integrity. <laughs> integrity. Anyway, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Oh yeah, I guess I am tired. Um, no, I think it's, it's really interesting, though, that they tried to copyright that. Like, the concept. Of reacting to videos pretty amazing. Wasn't there some pop star that tried to copyright like three words or something? I know that's very vague, but I don't... There's just too much to remember on this planet. Multiple. That's hot. Oh, that might have been one of them. Slop Tua. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. That's a problem. I do think that there is a special place in hell for already mega-rich people trying to copyright very simple concepts. Like, can't you just contribute something to the culture and, like, be happy with yourself? You're already fucking rich. Jeez. We're gonna copyright people reacting to other videos. Wow. Nice life. It's like, nice, nice time on this planet that you only get once. Nice job. Made it. Oh no, I didn't fly! Oh. oh, oh god. Um. Uh oh. H hang on, it's doing the thing again, chat. It's doing the thing. Shit. Uh. Hang on.
Ow, God, that hurt. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to buy another cable soon. Probably have also missed a couple bots. I've I've isolated the problem even further, chat. I swear I got it this time. I know exactly what the problem is, maybe. kept looking for the butt stomp, like Mario has. But no such luck. Music is cool here. see a bot down there. Dream Chaser, he has the right to bear arms. Looks like Vincent Valentine. I don't know who that is. Wild Arms, oh my god! Shit. I think I had a demo for uh, Wild Arms. Once again, I was hoping that the full game would have been accidentally placed on the demo disc. I wonder if that ever actually did happen. It did several times. Crash Bash? Spyro. Crash Bash was on Spyro 3? Wait, 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 wait. Hold the fort. What do you mean? Once with the Yakuza game as well? They accidentally included the whole game. So, I remember hearing about the accidental demo disc full game conundrum, like, at the very beginning of the PlayStation's life cycle. Like, right when... Probably, like, 1995 and 1996 was when I heard that it happened. Because I knew of a kid who knew of a kid in another school who got all of Crash Bandicoot 1 on a demo disc. You could access debug mode for Crash Bash in a Spyro demo disc that gave you access to the whole game. Yeah, but then it's Crash Bash. I mean, I just played it during Corruptions, like, last week. And, um, chat was like, this game is bad. 
I, I was like, yeah, it seems, it seems kind of crusty, we'll call it. But yeah, Wild Arms, um, Legend of Lagaya, I believe was one. Maybe Wild Arms wasn't the one. Maybe it was just Legend of Lagaya. Journey? No, no, no. Desert Wanderer, great at making friends. Journey! Yeah. Legend of Dragoon and the guy I had that disc. That may in fact be it. There's a lot of Legend of games, huh? I wonder what game started that whole thing. The answer is a movie by Ridley Scott called Legend. Someone said, I love that movie, it sucks. Yeah, pretty much. I've got my guilty pleasure movies. You ever see Empire Records? Well, I haven't in about 20 years, but I remember loving that stupid movie whenever it was on. It was just about a bunch of, like, stereotype, like, teenagers, you know, or 20-somethings that work at a record store. And then, like, the famous dude, the, the in-universe famous dude comes around, and um, the characters that you would expect to fall in love, fall in love. It's the most generic by-the-book script ever. Southland Tales, there you go. Donnie Darko director. Richard something, not Donner. Forget his name, but. Has The Rock. And uh, yeah, that movie sucks. I watched it twice, all the way through. And it's not good, but there's some stuff in it that's funny. Um, the other movie, Guilty Pleasure, is Can't Hardly Wait, starring Seth Green and Ethan Embry, and Brecken Meyer, all the 90s people from that time. And it's just about, like, some party that happens. <laughs> That's it, it's just about a party that happens. And when I was like, I was a little young at the time when that movie came out, so I was like, this is what it's gonna be like when I get older. It was never like that. It was just like that because it was a movie. And they were trying to do like the John Hughes thing. Vinny, what are your thoughts on the classic movie Rat Race? We need more silly comedies like that. It's a genuinely funny movie. I watched it again recently for the first time in like 20 years. It's not the most funny movie of all time or anything like that, but it's pretty fucking funny. And it's just pure slapstick, like just 
like Benny Hill kind of weirdness. Not that I've ever really even seen Benny Hill, but Mr. Bean's in it. I want more silly comedies like that. Just... You know, that's not ha happening these days. That's why I like Conan, too. Conan just... continues to be silly. It's fun. Like, I get it. You know, comedy can sometimes be a, a tool and all that. But sometimes, you know, I just need a break from life being shit um, around the world and in the country and everything and just want to laugh and don't need, like, you know, a viewpoint inside the comedy. That's fine, but I don't want that all the time. I just sometimes would like silly. That's why I'm enjoying early Simpsons. It's a mix of silly, but it's also that in a more general sense. And it's like kind of... It's kind of dark about American life, but in a way that's really funny and, and like done really well. It, it is satire, but it's also very silly. I, I like that a lot. Have you ever seen bench warmers? I don't think so. No, I haven't. Ah. Oh. Early Simpsons was Conan. I know, are you seeing the connection here? What's your favorite pick selector position on the Stratocaster? Middle. Um, the bridge pickup is too twangy, but it has its uses. I use it in Reno. And the, the neck pickup is my second favorite. Lost circle void. Have you seen the 2008 Speed Racer movie? No, but more and more, I, I feel like I've heard that I should watch that movie. Like, it's come up a bunch in the past couple years. Is the Strat your workhorse main squeeze guitar? Uh, yeah, but only my Strat. I remember I I bought another Strat one time and it sounded too stratty and I returned it. I know that sounds like it makes zero sense whatsoever. And for those that don't play guitar, that's going to make even less sense, like negative sense. I don't, I don't really get it. But anyway, um, yeah, that and my Telecaster lately I've been using a lot. That's the one for those that are into the band. That's the one Joe played, the yellow one. At, um... Joe played that at the show because his he broke a string while tuning to get started with the show. Boy, we had a lot against us that show. Joe Family Guy, that's him. Yeah. I know him personally. Oh no. Always put new strings on for a show. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, always bring a second guitar to a show. That's what I'm learning. So, so this is not um, Babby friendly easy. Just like the Mario Galaxy games having their little difficult moments. Um, this is also not idle chit chat part of the game. This is like pay the fuck attention so you can live. But yeah, I do miss, I genuinely do miss silly comedy movies, and, uh... Man, like, I love the Monty Python movies, but there's satire in there, too. It's like, you don't have to completely divorce your movie from current things, or from, like, you know, making a point. But a lot of times, the comedy can suffer. And then your movie is dated within four months. But I think, though, genuinely, there were some really, really bad comedy movies in the late 90s into the 2000s. And they started getting, like, like just terrible, like, date movie or epic movie. And then, like, listen, I like Adam Sandler well enough for his SNL shit. But, like, some of his movies were really bad. What was the Meet the Spartans? Wasn't that movie, like, actual dog shit? Like, it's just... I want more stuff like Top Secret. That's my favorite comedy movie of all time, I think. Parody movies? Yeah, I mean, like I said, you get a movie like Top Secret, which is just a riff on, like, spy movies and World War II, and also, weirdly, Elvis rock and roll movies? It's such a weird combo. And then you have Epic Movie, which is, a like, on paper, seems like it might be a fun parody, but then you watch it, and it, it's just horrendous. So I don't, I don't know what the hell happened there. I think it was just one... Wasn't it fucking, like... Hang on a minute. It was like one company that was making all these movies. I forget the dude's name. There was like one guy in particular. Epic movie. I'm just looking this up real quick. Aaron Seltzer. It's the Seltzer guy. And Friedberg and Seltzer. That's them. They thought they were the um, Abrams and Z uh, Zucker people, but they, they're not. They're Seltzer. Many have considered Epic Movie to be one of the worst films of all time. Despite this, it was fairly successful at the box office, earning $86.9 million worldwide. More than four times its $20 million budget. You too can fail upwards. Just look at Alex Kurtzman. Um, hey chat, does anyone know where the, um... The, the secret warp is here? Building with a chimney. Alright. Just let me know if I'm, like, getting close to it.
Puzzle piece is right where you get the sponge power up. Ring of plants. Oh. Thank you. Vinny, what's your favorite song you've ever written? <laughs> um... <laughs> you haven't heard it yet, but it's called Bloodstool. Like a toadstool, but it's bloody. It's like, it's about mushrooms and metal. I'm joking, I'm joking. But now that I know now that, now that I've come up with the title, I kind of want to write Bloodstool. Hang on a second. New Blood Bagel, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Hang on, Bloodstool. Let's see, we got a riff. <laughs> it's not metal enough. I, I need to down-tune all the way. Okay, we need- I need to get this thing. Oops. My favorite song I've never written is Seven Nation Army. Which is a song I wish I had written. Because, damn, do people get into that live. You can write it right now if you want. You know what I'm gonna write? Eight Nation Army. And I'll just include one extra note in the riff. Oh man. I can't wait for Jack White to sue me. I see a chimney here. Good. I think I figured it out, too. But, um... I mean, chat was telling me what to do. It's just... yeah. Well, no wonder I missed that one. That, that one's kinda... It's kinda tough to find. Cool, it's a, it's a good secret. But, uh, yeah. I'm not surprised I missed it. That's it. There it is.
you just add, yeah, that extra note. That's even better. Is Jack White stupid that he couldn't add that extra note to that song to make it even better? And he could have called it Eight Nation Army. Man, it was just like right there for him. This volcano are sick. Okay. Okay, game's throwing a little bit more at me. Do you ever regret writing Blood Bagel? No, because uh, it still makes people laugh, and I think it's um, I think it's a weirdly complete piece of work, I, and I say that unironically. <laughs> I mean, variety is good, too. I like... I like that there's, uh... Different styles of music that I've... I've, uh... Tried out a little bit. Not Nothing too drastically different, but a couple little things. It's kind of nice to have. You know, because then, like, otherwise you're just Nickelback, and, and... You know, no no disrespect to Nickelback. Well, maybe, maybe a little disrespect to Nickelback, but that's alright. Um... But it's, it's nice to have songs that sound different and try, like, different styles and shit. Even if it is about bloody assholes, I don't know. Um, Doom mods. Um, you could just send them in a zip file. Just be sure to write a little something about each one Maybe let me know what you're sending. Because I already have a bunch of Doom mods for another Get in Doom with it. And they seem cool, but there's just a lot I've played already. That was infamous, right? Yeah. Why would I do that? Astro bot. You can't touch lava. You, you really just gotta wait for that dude to spike up and then then take care of it. I don't know how to shoot. I mean, lasering is really just the best move, it seems. Neon Avenger lights up any room she's in. What game is that? Also infamous? Infamous? 
I'm sure Infamous was a great game. There's just something about the way it looked that did nothing to appeal to me to get me to buy it. I've heard it's very good. One and two were great. Second Son was okay. Yeah, it didn't really, to me, on, on a personal level, didn't sell its premise just based on videos. I think it's probably one of those games that you just have to play. Also, this duck is very nice. Just wanted to say that. Prototype was great, too. Um... I actually get the two confused. Which is the one with the electricity man? Infamous. So what's prototype? Prototype is meat powers. Oh. It's a shame Sony doesn't have franchises, though, huh? Just enjoying that texture, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to get a close look at it. These monkey bots live in this cave on this volcano. I guess they do. Probably more comfortable than it looks. really like that little uh, musical thing that's happening there. Well, that was easy. Chat, this is an actual, like, dream come true. Look, look at how pretty all this is, and, and you got rubber ducks and everything. This is great. All it needs is real ducks. Those are pelicans. Just with living ducks in a previous stage. Ah, uh, yes, but were they robotic ducks? I guess everything is in the Astrobot universe. there.
Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't... That Was that... Big Boss? Was that Naked Snake? Big Boss. Naked Snake. Shago Hood. Metal Gear. Very, very interesting stage gimmick. There he is. Legendary soldier tipped to become the big boss. Yeah, big bot. Can you say like Chalmers? Yeah, big bot. my mind would have been like like would it if broken had I seen games like this when I was five instead of like pixel Mario and mushroom like, what, what would that have been like I do kind of in a way though feel a little bit not bad but like there is something that I witnessed being born when I was born yes we're gonna do this chat but seeing video game graphics and even gameplay and just the whole industry transform before my very eyes was certainly a thing. And I missed a lot of it, too. Like, I wasn't there for Atari. I was barely there for NES. But I did have, you know several years where NES was the most advanced console I had. And then seeing that go from Super Nintendo to then you know, like PlayStation, N64 and then GameCube. It was so quick. Going from Final Fantasy 7 to fucking 10 in a few short years is, is insane. And now you just start with this if you were born like five years ago. It's crazy. Which means things could either get more amazing, potentially, or, um, or just the industry implodes and stagnates. Hmm. God. 
That's cool. I just have to do this without getting hit a single time, though. Pretty bad reaction time. God damn it, I'm not I'm not reading that. Oh shit, another phase! Whoa! This is really fucking cool. Ah, oh, that sucked. Turns out I was just a regular snake this whole time, chat. Still interest- don't answer that question. Nathan- Nathaniel Drake. Savior of the PlayStation. John Charted. John Charted. I'm assuming we're gonna get a whole Uncharted section now. Well, that should be fun. Dude rating. <laughs> Alright. Chat, I would love to do that now, but I am in fact tire. Like Mario himself, I am a tire. So, you know, I tried to play as much as I could tonight, even if I started a little bit later, but game is still amazing. And uh, I'm enjoying it greatly, so thank you for watching Astrobot streams. They're good. Next time I'll start with Astrobot, perhaps, so we can go a little bit longer. But uh, tomorrow I'll be live. I might be playing Plucky Squire tomorrow, chat. The embargo's up. And uh, maybe more Silent Hill 4. Oh boy.
Astrobot is wearing the costume you picked on the title screen. This game is full of a lot of really nice little details, and I appreciate it. You know, it is deeply appreciated. So, all right, chat, have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. And uh, I, I really love talking about random bullshit with an audience. So this was this was a fun stream, even if I was a little tired. Take care. See you around. And um, good night or good morning, depending on where you live. Goodbye. Twenty-five small doses of chalk can also be used as an antacid. Twenty-six. Additionally, the small particles of chalk make it a substance ideal for cleaning and polishing.